does this project Mm -mm. The bottle looks very masculine and very intimidating, but the fragrance is a softy. Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a fabulous one. If you don't, then happy holidays. Uh, now, if you're here for the first time, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, but I do throw in some uh, vlogs as well as some story time. So you can check out my playlist uh, where I actually group some of these uh, videos if you're interested in vlogs as well. And also do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would appreciate you becoming part of the family. Now, to those who are Turning. thank you so much guys for the continued support you are appreciated kindly give me a follow on instagram i go by the name c chronicles now, i have a fragrance to review for you guys this is sealed uh but i've tested it because it came with a tester and uh, i sent my son to go purchase this one and i laughed the minute he gave it to me what i laughed about was the fact that they stuck a tester for the same fragrance and they don't do they don't do returns so i would have hoped that they stuck a the gold one this is mahajan uh, silver so they stuck the silver as well there so i've been testing it out you know using this tester but we are gonna go we're gonna do an um, unboxing together so i show you the actual fragrance and how it looks if you're interested in some of the latafa pride uh fragrance uh, uh reviews that i've done you can obviously go ahead and uh, uh cross reference within my channel but i will also link them in the description below this is how uh the box looks it is uh, like a four let me remove that because it's quite noisy okay so it, it comes in like a four um a four like leather and this is how it's this is how the fragrance sits it's a pull out like this so that's mahajan uh silver okay and then of course the traditional pamphlet for ease of reference in terms of notes so i'm gonna just take it out let's see if it's actually tight oh yeah it is tight so like you could turn it like that it wouldn't fall now this is the bottle uh, i'm gonna have to say i don't quite like the bottle i think it looks very masculine um uh, you know although the fragrance here is uh, unisex this bottle is just a bit too much for me so i'm gonna spray it on my arm as usual and we're gonna test this together that's the atomizer for those who care okay that's the atomizer it's listed as having bergamot and i can't get that immediately bergamot and some mandarin and that's the top and then the mid is made of iris and jasmine and then the base is birch uh vertiver and some mass now offset just uh, smelling it like this and if you notice the amount of sprays that i put here is first thing you're going to that's going to hit your mind is this is a soft fragrance this is not going to tick the boxes for the best mold lovers which is another thing that i don't like about the bottle because the bottle looks ultra you know masculine you would think that this is going to be so beastly but i personally love this fragrance and i'll tell you why it opens up with that soft uh watered down citrus of course because of that bergamot and the mandarin iris comes in and it then mixes with the bergamot but it keeps the theme of being soft within this fragrance and there is also jasmine listed here but the jasmine you're going to get here is more of the fresh uh it's all more on the fresh side so it also complements what they were trying to create which is obviously a very soft fragrance birch is here as well but it's also quite green and yeah it's also it just gives a little like some sort of gentle greenness there that's what the 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 birch does or at least that's how the birch interprets to my nose and of course that vertiver and what i think the vertiver here is doing is it's just adding like some sort of soapiness to the mm -hmm. fragrance this is your very light scent um very fresh as well and a bit citrusy um a bit citrusy almost a bit soury so if you're the sort that's always looking for beastly fragrances this unfortunately might not tick the boxes for you this is a very fresh very fresh uh gender neutral uh fragrance it's very watered down which is unlike uh what latafa is known for it does not have a middle eastern feel to it this is very western uh to my nose i wouldn't say this is masculine nor would i say it's feminine there is that inclusion of the vertiver but what the vertiver simply does here is it just gives it that soapiness instead of like maybe a masculine leaning vertiver this is a vertiver that is so so soapy but is also very gentle so it maintains the theme of this being a gender neutral scent now what i can say this is a dupe of and most certainly is it feels a lot like creed silver mountain water now if you like that 
uh, uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water, you will know that that's also a very light fragrance. But I think this particular one uh, takes it up a notch. I mean, this lightness, it feels a lot watered down. So it's going to tick the boxes for people who like very watered down fragrances. I find that it, to me, it is a favorite because it's not every time that you want your fragrance to be in your face. Again, I did an experiment to see if this would be beastly or at least project a lot. If I oversprayed it, it did not. Um, it gets to a point where, you know, at some point you think it's not even there, but of course you are wearing fragrances, uh, which is another thing that I got from a uh, gypsy water. I've got by Redos gypsy water. So if you know those kind of fragrances that if you're into, if you're always hunting for a loud fragrance, they will take you like by surprise thinking, oh, okay, this fragrance is very faint. So this is what this feels like. Feels like it's so faint. Um, to a point that if you if you don't know you might actually think oh well, there's something wrong with this fragrance because it is very soft um so i, I am actually uh, interested um looking forward to trying the mahajan the gold one i will see if the if the store can give me a tester for the gold one uh, because the gold one is quite interesting, but I have put my nose on the gold one. It was a bit thick. It was a bit thick and a bit Middle Eastern. But now that, um, you know, I have bought this one, I think I might uh, try to get a test of that. If they don't have a test of that, then I might just have to buy the full size. Because uh, what I like about the gold one is it does have some caramel there and cashmere in. And I like those two notes. So, yeah, it, 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 the, the gold one feels just by the notes as though it's completely disassociated to this one. So it's not going to be a choice of oh if you like uh if you want the masculine or the the feminine version you've got to try this this is a very light fragrance uh a, a fragrance that you would just reach for if you are not even in the mood to smell a lot of fragrance uh, the downer to this is is probably not going to work if uh you are in a colder climate or it's not going to work in winter uh because even its performance in summer is barely um making the mark but i can see why latafa have created this uh, because of course first it is duping silver mountain water and it's not every single person that loves very loud fragrances so this is going to work for frontline workers or the nurses not necessarily you know just to say the nurses but people who work around other people or a shared office and you don't want your fragrance to be loud it's going to make a perfect gift again for uh, somebody who does not like beastly fragrances but somebody who likes citrus um, unfortunately, it doesn't hold. The citrus as a note on its own uh, does not hold for long. You know, it doesn't have the, st the staying power, if you know citruses, unless you boost them with woods and stuff like that. Uh, so this being a citrus forward uh, fragrance and then becoming so light is don't expect much in terms of performance. It's not going to change much. Uh, so I'm not sure it's going to be a favorite for many, but I personally like it. The bottle sucks. It is so big, you know, like I, if they could, if they had made it a little thinner, maybe it would have been nice, uh, but the bottle is so big and this round cap just, I don't know, just doesn't do it for me. But it's not about the bottle, it's about the content. So that's what I had for you guys. Latafa of the Latafa Pride collection, and this is Mahjan uh, Silver. I personally love it, just like how I love my gypsy water, because in as much as I'm crazy about fragrances, there are some instances where I just want to smell clean and fresh without necessarily having my fragrance speak. Does this project Mm -mm. to me this one does not project i mean it stays close to the skin which is certainly what birch does i mean the note, note birch itself tends to stay close to the skin so this quickly becomes a skin scent it's something that's going to be ideal if you're going to just wear it maybe after a shower or you're at home or it's in the heat or something like that but basically that is it so don't let the bottle fool you in case you were just wondering what this is about the bottle looks very masculine and very intimidating but the fragrance is a softy uh, i can almost say i think this is the softest fragrance latafa has made thus far or at least from the ones that i've smelled this is a very 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 soft so yeah that's what i had for you guys see chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today um 
like i did say i will make an effort to try and bring the gold one uh, but i'm going to try tester first uh, since i have this because this is just a bottle shape that i don't like so i'm going to try and see if i can get a tester if i can't get a tester then obviously i'm going to bring you the whole uh, fragrance i'm going to have to purchase it because latafa fragrances are uh, affordable anyway thank you so much guys for joining me today i hope you have subscribed if you haven't then why not also turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video stay blessed stay safe and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers